Hey guys, today we're going to be hunting another box of pennies. Now this box I actually got from my walk-up bank. Um, they gave me a call and said that they accidentally, um, or they were sent an extra box of pennies. So she called me knowing that I liked the boxes, so I went and I picked it up. And I thought it was going to be one of the tall boxes, one of the boxes kind of like this. But it was actually, to my surprise, a Loomis-style box. And I did crack it open, and I did check, and it is completely circulated. Um, I did check for all for enders, even the, I did check the other side as well, and I did not see any enders. So we're just going to get started um, off of the uh, three, four, five box penny hunts now, back to um, one box. But hopefully I can get some more soon and do some more uh, multi-box hunts. I think I think those are really fun. But for, th for this video, we're just going to hunt one box and see what we can find. I will bring you guys in on my very first find. I finally just got my first wheat penny. I did, uh, see it by the date. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a 44S. Here, can you guys see that okay? But it's a 44S, so finally on the board. And, um, we'll keep going. Alright, we're on roll number 17. I got my second wee penny, finally. Right here. 1942 S. Actually, in uh, solid condition. Um, pretty good condition. So, we will keep searching. Alright, I'm a couple rolls later and I see a 1945 poking out. 1945 Philly. Alright. We'll keep going. Alright, we're on roll 22, I believe. And I didn't even notice this until I came upon it. But we got another Weedy. Uh, looks a little bit worn. It's probably not too old. <laughs> yep, 56D. That's also our first in the 50s. And I don't see anything else in this roll, so we'll keep going. All right, I'm just about, I think around, maybe around halfway through the box, and I see another weedy that looks in pretty good shape. Wow, and that's an older one. I did not expect it to be a 44. That's a good shape. That could also upgrade. All right, um, we got five weedies now. Um, I don't know exactly how many rolls we're in, but around halfway, so, um, let's keep going. Alright, I'm on the very next roll, and I think this box might be toying with me, uh, because I didn't get any wheat pennies for 14 rolls, and I'm, again, around halfway. I don't know, the rolls kind of fell over. Um, I've been hunting a lot of the tall boxes recently, so it's been easier to, uh, count for wheat pennies, but some of the rolls have kind of fell over. But we did just get, uh, another one here. 1940. I didn't expect that to be in 1940. That's in good shape. Oldest of the box. Five coins in the 40s, one in the 50s. Let's keep going. Alright, there's two pretty neat things in this roll. I'm on roll number 27. And I see a weedy, but I see what looks like an older Canadian here. Yeah. Look at that. That's an oldie. The young heads for me are usually in the, uh later 60s but this is a 1953 if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think that's a first year young head cool i haven't been filming all the canadians i guess i should have because i've only found three so far a um an 86 and a 75 but that's a neat find i've been finding a lot of young heads recently in my hunts so let's see what the weedy is 56 that is number seven now and we have 23 rules to go in this box. All right, um, we haven't don't have a wee penny, but I thought I'd film this because it's a little bit older. We got a older Canadian young head, 1955. Wow, that's actually two 50s young heads in uh, this box, which does not happen for me. Usually, when I get more than one uh, young head Canadian, they're usually in the uh, 60s, maybe one in the 50s. Alright, let's keep going. We got around 15 rolls left to go. 
All right, finally got another wheat set. Um, we have six rolls to go. I got another one here. 1950 out of San Francisco. All right, we'll keep going. I might do the last roll live. You know what, let's do the last two rolls live. Um, I'll do this one first and see. Just making sure my camera is on, yep. Let's see. Score something live? I thought I heard maybe a Canadian. Nope, maybe not. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look through this as quickly as I can. Oh, there's a 59. Oh, yeah, I did see a Canadian. That wasn't an Ender, was it? I didn't miss an, I don't think I missed an Ender. Uh, 2,000 Canadian penny. Got something live. Here, I'll... I roll as I go, but I'm just going to set these aside for now. Let's do roll 50. Can we make something happen? No, I don't think so. Nope. Alright, I'll get you guys a wrap up. Alright, so we finished hunting that box. And it was kind of a light box as far as wheat pennies go. We only got eight. But I would say that's still in the realm of a decent box for me. Um, and um, we didn't get anything really that old. Um, the oldest was a 1940, but, um, a couple of the oddities here, we only got really one real oddity, and it was this kind of gold, greenish, toned 2000 on both sides. It's kind of cool. Um, I like the toning on it, so I'll keep it. One 1972 Philadelphia, that I, at least that I noticed, um, and it's actually in great shape, so I will check that for the DDO. Um, again, I set those aside, and, um... You know, I'm planning on doing a big DDO hunt um, for the 1972 Philadelphias. Um, we got six Canadian pennies, uh, four modern ones, um, and then we got two older ones, surprisingly. Uh, we got a first year. It's not wanting to focus that great today, but it's a 1953 um, and a 1955. Both are young heads. So that was cool. They weren't in the 60s this time, which is cool. Um, and then a few nice and shiny ones. Not too many of those, actually, either. Um, we got a 62 that's pretty nice. It's got a spot on it, but overall it's in good shape. A really nice 69D, um, and three nice 72Ds, and a nice 1980. Um, this was really the only nice 2009 that I decided to keep. There were a bunch more in there, as there always is, but I find this design a ton, and... Obviously, they're still, even though they're technically lower mintage, they're still pretty common to find. Uh, but I'll keep it because it's in good shape. And then for the Wheaties, we actually got some decent, decently nice ones here. Um, we got two from 56. This one has a little bit of luster on it. One from 1950 out of San Francisco. Uh, one from 1945 out of Philly. One for, uh, two from 1944. I think both that are, are out of San Francisco. And this one is actually in solid condition. Um, I'd probably say that's the find of the box. Mainly because you just don't find them in the 40s in that kind of condition too often. Usually they're 56, 57, 58. Um, and then I got a 42D, which again is actually in solid condition. Uh, a little bit of luster on it still. And then a 1940 Philly. So, not the most eventful box of all time. But I'll take hunting another box of pennies. Um, especially since... I didn't think I was going to have any coins to hunt today, um, but I'll take it. Um, another box that was pretty good, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.